hello guys welcome back to my channel we are already discussed about oops if you guys have not seen in that video so watch that video first i am also sharing oops video link on this video description kindly watch that video before watching this video so today we are discussed about encapsulation what is encapsulation encapsulation is a process of hiding irrelevant data from the user technically encapsulation is the variable or data of a class are hidden from any other class and come to our example if you guys you are by a mobile you do not see how circuit board work we are also not interested to know how digital signal converted to analog signal and vice versa also these are irrelevant information or data for us or any mobile user so come to our next question why encapsulation why encapsulation is in our project so answer is here when you develop project you think in your project some code are not required to expose or show to outside class in that case we use encapsulation so come to an, uh, another question you know what is the advantage mentor advantage is one is the it is secure our data second one is hiding sensitive information from the rest of the world means another class come to our um, second question the disadvantage what is the disadvantage of encapsulation here is no disadvantage of encapsulation is just secure our data our private data from the outside class so guys this is the part of the encapsulation but theoretically how to implement the encapsulation in our project in our uh, in, in our program how to um, do this let's see here i am already met two class one is encapsulation another is encapsulation demo in encapsulation have two variable one is encapsulation name another is encapsulation in i want to this variable access in this encapsulation demo for that i want to make an object of the encapsulation object and dot if you guys say are not able to access this two name encapsulation name and encapsulation is because this variable are of the private we cannot access the private variable to another class but now for how to achieve you achieve that variable by through properties so how to use properties in the public so what is public it is one type of access modifier how many type of access modifier what is access modifier so uh, i will tell you in another video on, in for this video we will totally focus on the encapsulation to try to understand the um, encapsulation how to use in our project in our um, in our project and um, project practically so here um, the access modifier is public and the data type is string here the name putting any name get return what you want to return the value encapsulation name here and set sorry here i am already done the encapsulation name i am simply copy and paste below and changing your data type and simply changing your name also and here copy the name of the encapsulation is and simply put in here and here also again i try to access this two variable one is in first one is in fc see the first time when try to access this variable is not able to access now it's a name and age is showing there and i'm putting the simple value here and uh, another is age then console dot right line name is dot, dot name 
it will copy and paste below same line and simply change here Sorry. and change here also Save this page and start to run. See here the our variable name is same as showing here. 